Hey guys, it's Corey, and welcome back to another buying guide with 10 best ones. Today, we'll talk about which are the five best picks, how to choose the correct product, and what you should look at before buying. We've ranked these products based on their price, quality, durability, performance, and more. If you'd like to see their price and find out more information, you can check out the links in the description down below. To make it easier, we will include timestamps in the description as well. Let's get started. Before looking at our best picks for today's video, I want to discuss what you should look at before buying. Before choosing a pair of headphones for listening to music, you should decide what kind of headphone you want to buy. Some people refer to earphones or earbuds as in-ear headphones, but for music listening purposes, I'd only recommend circumoral or supraoral headphones that sit on top of your ear or cover it completely. These are your classic headphones, large cans that we know and love. These are also equipped with larger drivers and sound isolation to deliver you a better sound quality. You'll find closed back and open back models of these, sometimes even semi-open models. Open back headphones are also excellent choices for listening to music since they expand the sound stage significantly. Secondly, frequency response. When it comes to headphones, the most important specific is always the frequency range, and it tells you the range of sound the drivers are capable of producing. For example, let's say you see a pair of headphones with a 50 to 20,000 Hz frequency response range. The first number tells you the lowest frequency the headphones can go. These are the bass sounds, and the lower that number, the deeper the bass will sound. On the other hand, it shows how high it can go. Speaking about the treble here, the human ear can hear from 20 to 20,000 Hz, and that's also the best range for a pair of headphones. Thirdly, sweetened or flat response. Most of the headphones out there have some characteristics that experts call sweetening. This refers to the EQ response of the headphones to make the music sound better, by emphasizing the bass a bit to counter the natural leakage. These are pretty good and are also present in most consumer headphones out there. You probably are carrying a sweetened pair of headphones. There are also free field and defined field sweetening, both of which are good. However, most audiophiles prefer flat frequency response headphones to appreciate the true quality of it, so it's mostly a matter of personal taste. If you want a model for outdoor use, then this next pick is a great option. We're going to start this list with the very best headphones for overall use, the Sony WH-1000XM3. These are the most versatile headphones ever made in my opinion, as they deliver great sound quality, amazing noise cancellation, lengthy battery life and tons of other features that we'll touch on in a moment. While the other options are more dedicated to indoor use, these can be used outdoors as well. Let's talk about the design and build of these headphones, as firstly the Sony WH-1000XM3s are much lighter than the previous model as the company managed to cut the weight by one ounce. This might not sound like a lot, but if you plan to carry them for the whole shift at work or during a long flight, the weight becomes an issue. There's also more padding in the latest model, especially on the headband, which was a bit lacking on the predecessor. On top of that, there's no micro USB port anymore, as it's replaced with a USB Type-C port which delivers better charging performance. Minimally designed, the Sony WH-1000XM3 is excellent overall. The controls of the device are pretty minimal in terms of buttons, but it has just two of them, one for power or Bluetooth and the other for noise cancellation features. The playback settings though are under the right ear cup and are done through the touch capacitive covering that gets the job done. The noise cancellation performance of the Sony WH-1000XM3 is pretty much excellent and that's particularly why I suggest them for outdoor use. Low frequency sounds were blocked effectively at all times and high-end performance was good as well. It has about 30 hours of battery life with noise cancellation on, meaning you can go with your day without worrying about them. The music performance of the Sony WH-1000XM3s is amazing. It has the aptX HD standard codec and supports the LDAC codec that delivers a great experience. Overall, I can say that they sound consumer-friendly with a nice response curve that's balanced but not flat by any means. It's sweetened in all the right places to allow you to enjoy music like it should be done. One of the strongest competitors out there. Moving on, we have the most durable model out there. So if you break things often, this will be suitable for you. If you want a pair of headphones that'll last you a lifetime, then you should check out the Bayer Dynamic DT770s. 
These are also an excellent pair of headphones for listening to music, as the company knows very well how to deliver such devices. However, you should know that these are not designed for mobile devices and you can't use them. Also, to utilize them fully, you'll need a nice headphone amp, which is a must for the best music listening experience here and on other studio models. In terms of design and aesthetics, the DT770 is a pretty much classic Bayer Dynamic, simple as they've always been, made to last a lifetime, guaranteed German quality and craftsmanship here. It has tons of metal in its headband construction, which is then covered with a layer of thick plastic. Moving on the cable is protected with tons of rubber and plastic as well, which is great even if it's not replaceable. As far as design goes, these are classic overall, but still pretty good. For comfort, they're packed with velo padding on the ear cups, which is a perfect choice even if you're wearing glasses. I should also state that it doesn't trap in heat despite having amazing sound isolation. All thanks to the velo padding. The headband is also thickly padded and the clamping force is just enough to keep them on your head without causing discomfort. I noticed you can carry these for a long time without any complaints. The cable is also 10 foot long so you'll not stretch it as often. I should mention that there are three versions of the Bayer Dynamic DT770s, one with 32 ohms, 80 ohms and 250 ohms of impedance, which is perfect for studios and recording sessions. The sound quality of these headphones is pretty much ecstatic and beautiful. I read some comments about them being muddy from Amazon reviews, but not at all. They held themselves pretty well, but they are a bit bass heavy, so there is that. Overall though, they're an amazing pair of cans. If you're looking for a mid-range model, then this next pick is a great option. Audio-Technica is a brand that produces sound devices that are the benchmark for the sound of other brands' headphones, speakers and other sound devices. From there you can see just what this company can deliver. But this time around we have a more consumer-based product that's designed for commuters as well, the Audio-Technica ATH M50X. While these aren't the flattest headphones in the company's range, they are excellent overall, so let's check them out. Generally, headphones from this manufacturer have a pretty utilitarian design that isn't pleasing to the eye, but most of them are designed for the studio. However, this time around we see that the company has focused a bit more on the design and aesthetics to make them more wearable for your daily commute. There are also three different finishes to them, black, white and gunmetal, all of which are pretty much excellent and look perfect even for the more style-conscious people. Putting the design aside, I have to say that these are pretty durable overall, and I've never expected anything else from the company. Build quality and craftsmanship are top of the class. They're also pretty lightweight due to the plastic build and have some thick padding all over to make them comfortable for wearing even for long periods of time. The padding is not very breathable though, so beware if you live in warmer climates. Then again, it's not a deal breaker because they are excellent. In terms of sound, I have no complaints about these headphones, but I wouldn't call them exactly monitoring headphones. They're mostly jack of all trades pair of cans that can get everything done in any genre. If you want to get into music production, monitoring, or want an audiophile grade experience, these are a great starting point without being overly strange. The best mid-range option out there, hands down. This next model is perfect for professional use. If you're looking for the best headphones out there for music production and general professional use, you can't go wrong with the Sony MDR7506s. These are one of the best, most durable, popular and better sounding headphones ever made, not just in recent years. These were first made in 1991, and since then, the rest is history. The design of the Sony MDR7506s is pretty much retro vintage by now, because they're nearly 30 years old, but still, they're pretty good overall in my opinion, at least for studio and professional purposes. They're made of plastic all around, which is great because it keeps the weight light, however, some are concerned about the durability. I have to say, they are extremely durable. They're made for professional environments where headphones are treated poorly, so you can easily toss them in your backpack and forget about them. I should mention that in terms of comfort, they do not have any modern features such as memory foam padding or space-age materials, but they feel pretty good on the head. The clamping force is a bit hard at times, but it's not something that you'll feel unbearable. There's also padding on the headband that makes everything comfortable. The overall look is also pretty minimal, and people with retro vintage styles can take them for commuting as well. There's no Bluetooth or any other fancy feature with these headphones, just standard 3.5mm connector, but you'll also find a quarter inch adapter on the package. These have an impedance of 63 ohms and a frequency response range that spans from 10 to 20,000 hertz. They deliver a flat response from their 14mm drivers that are great for audio production. Excellent overall, definitely one of the fan favourites. We are going to start this list with the best budget option that you can get your hands on. 
If you want an exceptional music listening experience but don't want to spend a lot of money, you should check the Sennheiser HD280 Pro. It might be surprising to see that a top pick is a budget option, but these do deliver a performance for the ages. The Sennheiser HD280 Pros are not specifically designed for consumer use or commuting, they're more of a studio grade or listening to music at home type of thing. That's mostly because of their huge design that's designed to be sturdy and comfortable for longer periods of time, and if you need that, then this is it. The panning on these cans is very thick and you won't feel them on your head because they're pretty light. I should also mention the padding in the headband and the clamping force, which would be a little too much without the padding. On the other hand, the clamping force keeps the noise isolation excellently. The Sennheiser HD280 Pro lacks a detachable cable though, which would be a great feature for keeping them by your side for a longer time. The cable that's provided though is pretty thick and comes with a 3.5mm connection. In the package of the device you'll find a quarter inch adapter for more substantial devices. The sound performance of the Sennheiser HD280 Pro is pretty much exceptional. Nothing sounds out of place and it delivers a pleasant experience. It's not especially sweetened, but it delivers a bit more of a flat experience with little touch-ups all over. The frequency response range spans from 8Hz, which is in the sub-bass range, all over to 20,000Hz, which is more than you can ever need. Budget price, but a high-end performance.